Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. So today in this lecture, we are going to talk about box sizing property which CSS and HTML provides to us. So over here, I have one a code snippet already written. So in that, if you see, we have normal HTML tags and within the head tag, I have added the styling part and within the body tag, I'm, I have added few divisions over here. So first I will go through the division tags. So he, over here we have two divisions, one uh, with class name as outer container and one with class name as inner container. So for the outer container, we have uh, given the background color as yellow and height and width as 200 pixel each. And for inner container, we have given height as 200 pixel and width as same as outer container which is 200 pixel and for that particular di division we have uh, given the background color as red and we have also uh, gave some border of uh, 10 pixel of black color to the inner container so over here I have commented this uh, box sizing uh, property as of now to check what uh, default behavior we get so I'm gonna refresh this page and show you how it looks so now here we have parent division which is of 500 pixel height and width as 200 pixel and then we have inner container with height as 200 pixel and width as 200 pixel but here is the tricky part so since I have added this border of 10 pixel, okay, the height and width of this inner container has increased to 210 pixel of height and 210 pixel of width. So if I remove this one border, you will able to see the difference. That now this height and width of the inner container is as same as the original what we have uh, written earlier but when I added this border it increase so that is because the in default behavior this box sizing property is content box so when we mention this box sizing property as content box we get this default behavior if you don't want the default behavior and if you want to retain the original height and width of the uh, container or division or anything which you want so for that purpose we can make use of box sizing border box so what it will do so let's look so what it will do it will retain the actual height and width of the division and it will add within that amount of height and width a pixel so here with box sizing as border box this width has remained 200 pixel only and so what it has done is this now the red division is of 190 pixel and it has added 10 pixel of border so our width has uh, remained 200 pixel only so whenever we need compact sizing so at that time we can make use of this box sizing property so that was all related to box sizing i hope you like this video thank you for watching